Nearly eight months into the pandemic, scientists are still searching for ways to keep people virus free beyond masks and social distancing, of course. One of those ideas is germ killing light bulbs. The technology has been used for decades, but can it protect against COVID-19? CBS 13's Anna Giles is getting answers. As coronavirus surges across the country, many are seeking out an extra layer of protection that can be used in their daily routine. Ultraviolet light that's powerful enough to kill germs is not new, but it's becoming more popular. I mean, if th this year so far is any indication of where it's going, it's almost going to become standard. Oscar Port is the general manager of Bonnie, a company that installs germ killing UV lights in homes and businesses. He says when air passes over these UV bulbs, the light breaks down the DNA sequence of a virus. Definitely every flu season, we see an uptick in. People interested in them, and obviously this year we've we've seen a, a tremendous interest. On Amazon, you can find handheld UV light sanitizers promising to kill germs on things like silverware and remotes. In Denver, germ killing lights are being installed on school buses. It uses light on the visible spectrum, the 400 to 405 nanometers, which being on the visible spectrum makes it safe for exposure to people, plants, and animals. Experts say it's a good way to give people peace of mind, but they can't say for sure that UV light kills COVID-19. The Food and Drug Administration says UVC light is a known disinfectant for air, water, and non-porous surfaces, but very little research has been done on how it could affect COVID-19. I'd really approach it as another layer of protection, the same way how social distancing is a layer of protection, masks are a layer, um, and everything that we do. It's another option at a time when household disinfectants are hard to come by. Well, UV germ killing lights are also used to kill off mold spores and bacteria. They usually require professional installation, though, for safety reasons.